Hi, my name is Norman Meir, and welcome to Best Incorporated. What we're going to be talking about today is the classifications of electronics that we use in the industry. We need to know what these three classifications are so we know what we're building to or what standard in that spec area we need to be talking about or looking at so we make sure we make the right decisions. Okay, there's, in all of them you have to know that. It's like for J standard, it strictly tells you in here that uh, without knowledge of what classification you're building to, you, you can't use the standard. 610 is another one. You gotta know so you can look it up. If you can't look it up, if you don't know what class, you don't know what you're looking up. So we're gonna try and help you a little bit on that. Okay, and uh, the first classification that we wanna talk about is class one. All it says is class one is function of the completed assembly. That, nothing more than specifically saying it's gotta work going out the door. Uh, prime example is um, the game of operation. Fun little game. Your kids enjoy it. All it has to do is what? Nose light up and buzz. Tickles the kids to death. We played it when we were a kid and uh, it'll still be being played on the future. Another class one item is kids toys. They don't realize this, but it, it truly is an exercise machine. Is uh, for the little boys and some of the little girls, don't get me wrong, is the uh, little remote control car or truck or motorcycle that has the little adjustments on it, you know, the wire that comes off the back end of it, batteries fit into it, and they get up off the couch and they follow it all over the, out of the house, having a great time. That is class one. It is the uh, cheapest to manufacture in the industry. Um, we don't have to have any documentation, in other words, our process control. Uh, we don't have to have training. And this is all in accordance with the standards. Um, so that's class one. Class two is dedicated. It has to work for a little bit longer. If it breaks down, nobody's gonna lose life or limb over it, is basically that. Uh, some of our automotive products still out there in the industry are class two. Uh, cell phones, we build a lot of cell phones to class two. Another example is some of our computers are class two. Because if, if a computer breaks down and you don't get emails or can't function, you're just gonna scream and holler at it. But it's still gonna function, you know, without you not doing anything, just sitting there. So that's what class two is. You're not gonna die because you don't get your emails, okay? Class three, high performance. It has to work at a moment's notice. If it doesn't, somebody could lose life or limb over it. So this is very valuable. Uh, this is the most expensive product out there in the industry to build. Uh, again, some of our automotive in the industry now are building to class three. Again, the shifters, some of the steering column mechanisms are built to class three requirements. Military aircraft, they have to work at a moment's notice. So, all product in the military aircraft is class three. The communication systems in them, the control modules for the jet aircraft engine, because if the engine doesn't fire right or quits working, somebody could die from that. The ordnance systems, they gotta be able to fire off when they're supposed to, do their job, and if they don't, again, somebody could lose life or limb over it. Medical field. A lot of medical product is class three that they use in the operating room. Uh, a lot of the FDA requirements require that the product be to class three specifications. I'm not saying all of it, but a lot of it has to be there. 
like for blood transfusions. Um, that's a class three product. Some of the defibrillators are class three product out there in the industry. So that's the three different class of electronic assemblies. And that's why it's important that your operators, your technicians, your engineers, your designers know what class of product that you have to build to. And that will, because there's three different specifications. Class one is the cheapest, class two is here, then class three is up here. So this is the most expensive actually to manufacture in the industry. Um, so I hope this helps you out. And yes, the user defines what product class you're gonna be working to. The manufacturer, you know, by contract, does what the customer dictates. So I hope this helps you out during this uh, few minutes that I talked about the three classes of electronic assemblies that we use in the industry. And we have to again know these so we can use the standards. Again, the standards are the 610, the 600, the 620, J standard, and if you're gonna do any rework and repair and you want a guideline, the 771121 should help you through. But again, you gotta know what class of product you're building to. I hope this helps you out and um, hope to see you again soon. Thank you and have a nice day. My name is Norman and I work for BEST.